I'm Anne Shepherd and I'm a Needlefelt artist. I live in Hexham in Northumberland and um, I'm a member of Network Artists North East. We are a group of artists who get together now and again, exhibit together and support each other in the work that we do. Needle felting is a, a process of crafting uh, wool roving into objects so you can make, uh, you can use it wet or you can use it dry and dry felting you use a needle or you stab the needle into the felt, into the wool fibres and they knit together, they knot together so you can make little solid objects. You can make them quite small and you can make them quite big. I started needle felting about three years ago. I went to see an exhibition by a local artist called Joss Rigg who'd made a selection of hares and dogs. They're very lifelike. Um, and she did a workshop, which I went to. Um, we had a great time, we all made these tiny little hares. Um, and I kept in touch with her afterwards and she encouraged me to carry on. And as soon as I got home, I bought the fibre and all the equipment that I needed. It was quite cheap. And um, I just started from there and found it addictive. Um, and I've kept on since then. I'm making mistakes along the way and getting better as well. I make all kinds of things from, I started off making small objects like uh, just little sculptures of um, like little mushrooms or simple things like that, little snowmen, very simple shapes. Um, and then I just started to develop them into little, little characters and you can get so many different coloured fibres, you can make some beautifully coloured things um, and it's, I find it's like doodling but in 3D. I like to respond to the seasons, um, I've always been interested in natural history so I do tend to make things like uh, almost like a seasonal collection, for instance in the summer I have a lot of ice lollies and different kinds of ice lollies, they're very decorative and you can put beading on them and have lots of different colours. Um, in the autumn it's um, mushrooms, conkers, leaves um, and in the winter obviously leading up to Christmas I do a lot of snowmen, robins, penguins even. You put anything, put a Santa hat on anything, it looks very Christmassy. I get inspired by natural objects so I make uh, natural objects but larger than life size so I can have a conker but that's the size of a, a, a basketball or a, a conker shell to make into a pot. Um, I can make animal heads, I've seen those made in, into masks, that would be a lovely thing I'd like to learn to do. But you can make things quite big if you have enough space and enough time, it's a very time consuming process. Especially needle felting, it takes a very long time to make even a tiny object like a brooch, it can take about four or five hours. I sell my work locally in a couple of shops, um, one in Allen Heads, and I've sold some stuff in, in Hexham Town. Um, I sell to friends and family, and I've just opened a shop on Etsy so people can buy my things online. Um, my shop is called Sheeply Feltish. In the future, I'd like to uh, work a little bit more with wet felting as well as needle felting and so making more useful objects, uh, like I've made tea cozies, but I like to learn how to make uh, slippers and hats and things that are made on a mould, which is a bit more of a technical um, exercise, it's something I'd like to learn to do.